it's a it's a pretty good setup at least. Yep. Wowzer. Multi kill. All right. <laughs> Everything is loose when you have the strength of a kraken. True enough, I suppose. So right now we're in front of some of the officers' quarters, the bosun, the bosun's mate, midshipmen, stewards, the numbered mates. Bunch of damage in here. I don't think much in the way of corpses, though. Wow. It would really suck to be in a room with a cannon. <laughs> oh, hello. I think that's a dead oh, no. person. You're cut. Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Then again, that's a good character taking over Pete's super fashion. Sure enough. I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brandy, See? We Brandy talked about these bears. Kiss. That's a lot of names for us. Actually, yeah, that's surprisingly helpful. Yeah, the, the sound direction in this game is really strong. I might have to play this again just for that. Honestly, yeah, it's it's just a lot of lovely performances. <laughs> Quickly, someone get Dr. Bear. Stat! There, there was, there was a few bodies uh, in this sequence. Oh boy! Ah, no, indeed. Yeah, the, the game really kind of leans on the, the music for to make a lot of things appear with timing. You know, the music sort of swells when new details appear in the book, you know, in time with the music. Uh, so this guy, I'm going to say probably knifed, but we don't know by whom yet. So we do, ha we we already know this guy, he's the first mate. But we do have this guy with his ear, hand cupped over around his ear. Goodness. Which I think, this, this guy, for whatever reason, I wasn't sure, but this guy eluded me for a long time. But I think we can assume this guy is uh, Henry Brennan. Henry Brennan. Yeah, so that one's actually just a gimme that just stumped me for a long time. Now practice, the guy was obviously shanked by Dr. Bear's arch rival, Professor Kraken. Alright, well, let's find some bodies. No, no, uh, M Mike, and you're confusing Dr. Bear with Bearlock Holmes. Nope, oh, gotta let the ghost out. <laughs> Let that ghost out. Let it out of the watch. Wait, is this powered by ghosts? Oh god. I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty Suddenly sure I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty thing. sure it's it's powered by uh cursed Aztec gold. Mm. That's how everything is in these nautical stories. That's true. Cursed Aztec gold or like What's something from Atlantis. Powered by wind. That that was a fast one. <laughs> Wowzer.
Okay, that man... That man went a ways. Yeah. And bled a lot. That, I'm... That's gotta be, like, Michael Ball levels of blood. A little he has bit. twice as much blood in his, in, in his body as a normal human. Sorry, that's a reference to a TV show I'm pretty sure no one else has seen. <laughs> Batman's head is in twain. Yeah. Somebody got capped. Capped is a very generous way of putting it. So this guy, for whatever reason, was clubbed by who we're saying is Brennan. But no idea who he is yet. But wait, there's more. Sorry, how did you get to Brennan real fast? Uh, uh, the guy who got knifed and crawled into the quarters, the guy who oh. was tending, the guy who was tending to him said, "Brennan, get the surgeon's kit." And in that scene, that seaman He's, yeah. had his okay. uh, hand cupped next to his ear. Yeah, that makes sense. Aetheril, I, I think we understand what you mean by that. I don't think you have to worry about clarifying it. We, this game's a little too... Uh, uh, a little too heavy for, for that kind of... Uh, I've read a thesaurus once. Yes. Fresh bastard. Ooh, oh, who, oh, oh boy. That got on the ceiling. Oh jeez. I'm gonna take a wild bet that someone in this is or some some member of this group is not of the English. I uh, yes. Just based on the the speeches. Yeah, everyone's nationality is listed on the crew manifest. Mm -hmm. So that can be a hint sometimes. Yeah, I did see there were some Dutch in there. Uh... Oh god, yeah, actually that's a great point. As long as we don't have to investigate the dead rats. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's a good thing this watch only goes to humans. Otherwise, this thing would be full up with ghosts. I'm just going to put a pin in that for later. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so this man uh, is the one who was discussing mutiny. They got shot by someone with a gun. Mm -hmm. Well, the... Seems like the guy who got shot was the one who got clubbed. Or the, the guy who did the shooting is the one who got clubbed. Yeah, the guy who did the shooting got was the one who got clubbed. And the one who got shot is the one who also knifed our uh, midshipman. Pretty sure that's a midshipman. <laughs> Humans and rats? That's an odd setting. <laughs> but wait, there's more. And he's actually above... Did the bullet go through? <laughs> that would be unfortunate, but no, this man was already dead by the time this scene was in progress. I see. Oh. I do seriously wonder what it looks like to the to the guy standing outside go into these little moments of death thing are you just standing there stock still or like do you he's just down like on the he's down on the ship we can't we can barely see him and he can barely see us he's just chilling that's true his you job is his job is to wait until we're 
We're ready. Trigger us to the Kraken. Off you go! There is some... Oh. There's, there's some stuff going down here. I think some people left the ship. That might be why the chapter is called Escape. Mm. I didn't realize that was the chapter we were in. Nah, uh, it... It's something you barely notice until it's all done and you realize, oh, that's why it's called that. Sword fight ensued. But unfortunately, someone brought a gun to that sword fight. And in fact, it was one of the lady passengers. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people getting shot in this tale. You have... Yeah, it, that uh, I feel like that's generally what happens. There, there, there are a few common causes of death. Let's let's just uh, there's a few common verbs. Is there a feature to add notes to face to help with gathering clues? Honestly, if you're you're advised to keep your own notepad. Uh, anyway, uh, he was, uh, shot. No, not poisoned. Shot. Gun. I, I don't know which passenger it is. It's one of the two... One of the two female English passengers. Which means Emily Jackson or Miss Jane Bird. But I can't just say unknown passenger and leave it at that for now. That's, that's, that's a, that'll be a note. Because I know that's that wasn't one of the crew. It was this one whose name I don't know, and I would basically just have to guess. <laughs> Although apparently uh, yeah. one one of them's married and one of them's not. So there's that. There. Can you see a ring? Uh, no. One of them's one of them's got a like a proper name. One of them's just called Miss. No, I meant like on the one who's shooting. Uh, that's actually a good question. It's, there's no way I can tell from here. All right, I, like, I wasn't certain if you even could, but I was just, it was a thought. Yes, uh, indeed, Mike, and poisoned by a gun. The, what we call lead poisoning. <laughs> Very brutal. Little did they know the Kraken was just hiding, rubbing its tentacles together, thinking, yes, kill each other, make it easier on me. All right, I think I know how this one died, but let's just make sure. <laughs> last one. Move quick. You'll not take the last push. That's a stab. That's a stabbing. Sure is. It's a pretty brutal stabbing, too. Yeah, that's, uh, ooh. Fortunately, this man was shot moments later. I don't know about fortunate. I feel like all of this is... Yeah, no. Nah. ...unfortunate, but... And they were taking the last boat, so no one else could escape this wretched, cursed ship. Yeah, that as yeah, Avril, you you are correct. That is a lung, and probably also the heart. That so. is that is at minimum a lung. Mm -hmm. So, uh, oh yeah, that went like right through a rib. Woof. Well, I think we know his name. Uh, yeah. The, his name was called out. <coughs> uh, 
Let's see, we have a John Davies. Uh, oh, sorry, it was a Paul, right? Yeah, I believe it was a Paul. We have a Paul Moss, who is the first mate steward. Do, do, do. That's it. The problem is we don't know who his attacker is. Other than they're probably uh, a seaman. Yeah, probably. Working, kind of have the uniform of someone below decks. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it at as unknown attacker for now. Cause his 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 name's still blurred out anyway, so. But wait. There's more down below again. Six corpses for the price of one. It does get a little crazy sometimes. It's just like I'd like to just like take a step back and can you let me just look at one body, please? I do understand that they do it just to sort of like show, hey, some paths have opened up and such like that, but like... It, is, it does feel like a little bit annoying that you have to keep going back to the same. Like you, you'll, you'll walk the path to find the body and then walk it again and actually go back. Yeah. This is squid. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. The cat. The beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. The captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. I'm guessing that man is German. I can't remember what that means. Damned. Just means damned. This man has a limb problem. Mm -hmm. Pretty significant one, too. Yeah. He's been disarmed. I have to admit, the little, like, the way they do uh, blood spots on the ground, it's just these big black circles overlapping, is somehow very striking and evocative yeah. for the style. Everything else has these dithering textures, except blood yep. Aetheral, the thing is I'm not entirely like I don't think that was an attack dog because this this story is super res reminiscent of the act like the original call of Cthulhu story <laughs> This one's more similar to Dagon, I think, but it, it like either way, it's, it's very Lovecraftian. So this uh, is a man who had a mate that was a Frenchman, mm -hmm. and he was German, or at least spoke German. Uh, would you accept Austrian? Yeah. Then he's probably Alfred Clustill the Boson. Could be him. He was uh, torn apart by a beast. Like, you know, Germany, Austria, very, very yeah. close. <laughs> very, they both speak Germanic languages. So, And that is mercifully the... Uh, the only. The last of the uh, thing there. This was the first mate's quarters. Do we know? Wait, we knew. We already knew who he was. Ooh, and I believe this opens up the next deck down. Ooh. Good to 
No. I wouldn't say this one is really Lovecraftian. Just in in regards to like it act like the the Lovecraftian the story had a um the one I remember. I don't remember exactly what this which specific one, but it was, there was one that was very much just like You didn't see anything weird. It was just a ship slowly going crazy until Cthulhu showed up. Ah, I see. And then they rammed the boat into Cthulhu, and then the guy like it, it's act. It is someone like following the the path of a ship, and the like one person who came back completely insane. Yeah, I wouldn't say that the rest of this story really follows that. Once you start getting into some of the earlier chapters, that's fair. It's it's really just a collection of very classical nautical fantasy vignettes yeah. i get you uh so now we have our first once you complete a chapter or at least discover all of the deaths that happen in a chapter if there were any people who just are unaccounted for by the end hmm. these people probably did not die these were the people who uh got out on uh the boat yep the slight problem is, what was their know. fate? Yeah, we don't know where they went. But let's take a look at the map for some clues. Once you start uh, identifying chapters, their positions in the journey uh, yeah. are pointed out on the travel map. Yeah, I did see that earlier. They did not make their, their Cape Verde rendezvous. That much is very clear. No. So, yeah, they could have ended up in the Azores in... Wait, what side of the ship was it? Uh, it was... Um... Uh, port side? Hmm, so they probably went to Azores then. Well, no, wait, uh, Madeira. Possibly. It's like they they have a they have a bunch of options here. Yeah, but I mean, if they they, they would want to like sort of go perpendicular to the boat, they want to go per perpendicular to the boat and reach land as fast as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So. So turning around to try and get to like if they are if the if it is portside and what I'm thinking, then Madeira probably is where they went. Um, our options for alive are uh, Madeira is not uh, on the list. There's the Azores, there's the Canary Islands, there's Africa and Europe. Oh, then it might be Azores. Oh, wait, is the ship going up? The ship is trying to head back to the United Kingdom. I say up north. <laughs> yeah, by by this yeah. point in the journey, I believe it's it's circled, it's kind of turned around and is heading back. Trying to make a return to uh, to its its port. Yeah, my guess would be the Azores. So but, would I mean, mine. For now, we'll say alive in the Azores. This one, I I actually do know the answer pretty strongly, but uh, I this was the answer I also just left in here for the longest time because I. The location that I wasn't sure. And Seems reasonable. Yeah, it's a it's a reasonable assumption. Anyway, uh Oh right, and the first mate's quarters opened up. Mm hmm And this one took me a while to find, but there is uh there is something hanging out the window here. Oh goodness me, yeah, I see the flies. All right, this chapter. Another 
case of lead poisoning. Yeah. I see. What's hanging is the foot because it got wrapped up in that. <laughs> that. The rigging there. And the worst part is that probably that probably like I don't think it would have ripped off his foot or anything like that. I think he just sort of fell and hung and died of decomposed. the wound. Yeah. And decomposed at sea. Hanging. Yay. Which is why the foot's still tied up, but the rest of them ain't there. Rest, rest just kind of slewed off into the oh. sea. Ooh, boy. Real pleasant game you made, Lucas Pope. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, this this uh, this is still infinitely more pleasant than like you know rejecting a family at the border. <laughs> for that's me, at least. Tr that's true. It's just like nope. That that hurt me more than this. <laughs> All right. So this man was shot with a gun by somebody. And the Formosans were present for this. They were being kidnapped. So this is this is another ship that uh, they tried to make off with. Another another one of the the uh, boats, rather. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't think we have much more information than that. It's still all blurred out. But I believe this starts another big old chain. Hooray! Chains! Or, or actually, no, this might just be this guy. Oh, hey! I remember this guy. Yeah. From the picture. This was one of the last corpses I found. Oh well, yeah, I mean, that doesn't look like an easy one to find. Nah. Uh, although, worth mentioning, uh, once you reveal a chapter, they do, uh, they do uh, give you clues as to where the corpses to start from are. Like, okay. on the cargo deck, or... You know, on the uh, Orlop deck. Okay. Intradesk, intradesk. So, if, like, if you're like, hmm, I don't know where this last part of the book is, you can just look at the locations the and... Page. Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, we know how he died. Puck Seng Lao. You have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasqua. Mm, Mike, and no, I don't think this is a crew. Problem. I think this is a Quiet. just an actual As shipping vessel. Ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by fire. Hey, we get a lot of names here. Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. Ready, men. Aim. Fire. A lot of names here. Oh, yeah. This is a real helpful scene. All right. Now, which bullet actually did it? <laughs> yeah, that's that's the, tr that's the trouble. <laughs> Let's take a look at this uh, firing line here. And, you know, not to... Not to, you know. Well, there's a reason there was speak, a line. Sp speak above my station, Mr. Gunner, sir. But 25% uh, accuracy rate on your firing line. Mm, it's, it, it's not all on them. <laughs> those, they, those were bad guns, too. That is true, yeah. But, uh, like I said, there's a reason they did it in a line. Never thought of running a Stardew Valley co-op world. Eh, I wouldn't really have time to like maintain it and 
the other reason for the line being that that way no one person felt responsible for the murder. Could that is, go, oh, uh, it was one of their bullets that did it. Yeah, that's true. All right, so uh, Hawk Sang Lao, who was one of the Formosan passengers, was uh, shot with a gun by. Oh, not yet. I, I didn't realize this one also chained. This is the guy who's. Oh, it's Brennan. Right, it's Brennan. His shot is the one that actually makes it. Hmm. And that's three more, baby. Ooh -hoo. That Brennan fella sure did a lot. Yeah, he was everywhere. Yeah, that, that is a good point, since he's hanging the wind or just, like, gentle swinging kind of thing. That's true. 